Amen. <coughs> Hi. So, welcome to the Product Tech Lab. This chapter and this session is using for the AWS Cloud. Before we start the AWS Cloud, we need to understand about the Cloud. So what is Cloud? This is the basic understanding we have required. Cloud means we have a one, uh, we have one cloud like whatever cloud okay and your server is there in the data center so now you can access the cloud you are the end user just assume you are the end user now access this uh, access this server over this cloud okay so um these servers and uh, these servers okay this, let's assume this is the servers user access these servers over this cloud there is not required or not thinking and not maintain any kind of things what mean what did i mean that mean if you have one data center so there is a few of this cost for you have this cost for maintenance okay maintenance uh, few of this cost for the this is one number over oh, this one second the cost for the your rack your servers so lots of things but here there is a not required any kind of things just is deploy the server and you can access over this user this is the benefit about it clear so now so if you have a if i talk about multiple cloud is there okay multiple cloud means suppose uh, if you if you have written as a cloud okay if you retain the cloud C O L C L O U D cloud. So there is a major three clouds I am saying, which is the AWS, one of the GCP, second last is Azure. Multiple cloud is there, but main three is this. Okay. So we are discussing about that, discussing and focusing on the AWS. So what is uh, AWS cloud? AWS cloud means if you have a there is a few functional. Okay, once you once you have logged in in AWS, so after you should create the VPC. What is VPC? VPC means virtual private cloud. Clear? Yeah. So there is a few zone is called. Okay, zone means uh, this region. Okay, this is few region. Okay, if you say a region, a region under this region. There is availability zone. Zone. Under this availability zone, you should create the VPC. Clear? So multiple region. First, you should choose the you are the user, you are the cloud administrator. The last as you were the cloud admin. So first log into region. First, log into the AWS. Okay. Next, you should select the region. Next, you should select the availability zone. Next, you create the VPC. So, any single region, you can create only five VPC by default. Okay. Not much more than that. 
So this is the cloud, this is the AWS cloud. I will show the practical, hands-on practical, how to do the configured and all those things. Okay, there is a few components is there. Okay, so if we see the component talking about, if we see the component, so this is uh, basically like uh, just a minute at the computer. Okay. Okay, let me remove. Okay, so So this five VPs we can create. So if we create the one VPC, if we just this is the VPC we have to create. Okay, there is a few of these called EC should create it. EC means EC instances is called. Okay, EC is instances. So EC basically working like a machine. You just deploy over this. So if you have deployed the EC, but just think if you so if you deploy this EC and deploy one application, okay, one application, one app, okay, but you need to access this is the users, right? Users, this is the user, they want to access this app. How make possibilities? This is possibility is there, you can record for the public IP because there is a internet and this is also public IP this is also public IP required right over the public you can't do it this is required for the public IP public IP means this is called to be elastic IP clear this is elastic IP now this elastic IP, you have to associate it this EC, then you can access those things. But this VPC has been created in region region A, and uh, suppose region A goes down, then this application is going down. So what is the possibility to? If you load balancer or if you possibilities to you can uh, replicate these things. Let's assume if you have another region, region B. In this region, there is a one VPC. In this VPC, same application replicated this, and you need to information exchange between VPC A region A to region B, both the VPCs, vice versa. So you can use the VPC peering. Okay. VPC peering. So now if you have a in that case, this is the one of the part. Another things you have to create one EC already. This is lots of storage is there. EBS volume, elastic block storage, EBS volume is there. But if it is uh, if it is a replicate to continuously backup or snapshot is required, okay. Snapshot. Why snapshot is required? If it is any kind of issues in this EC, so we can take this snapshot again create the EC. That means if it is any problem in EC, then this snapshot can take over this. Take over means we can create an EC and just backup the snapshot. This is the part. Okay, so now there is another component system. Suppose if you have a data center there, and this is a DC data center. Clear. This data center, this data center has one server. Okay. And this information will be go to the cloud. 
cloud. So now how to communicate over this? There is a three way option. Number one, AWS Direct Connect. Second is uh, Direct Connect. Second is your VPN, VPG, Virtual Private Gateway. And number three is another thing is there, which is like uh, very important, like uh, any kind of information can be exchanged for the reason it had been communication between AWS to your data center. Okay. So what is the component will be happen that mean that can be made possible to this is a question as I like, which is called TGW. Okay. TGW. T G W. VPG means VPG means virtual private gateway. TGW target gateway. VPG means you can create a direct VPN connection between two DC to this cloud then make possible TGW over the BGP can make possible clear yeah. okay so this is the component is there so now <clears throat> okay so this is the things so we will show in the practical so you can enjoy this practical and if you have any Uh, we will be show in practical okay if you enjoy the practical or if you require the practical or you you, know, you have required the one-to-one -one session please let me know in my email id so i can i will reach it to uh, reach it to you okay so as of now thanks we will be meet you next sessions thank you so much